If you look back over the last few weeks, we've been talking about coincidence, being clued in enough, being present enough to know coincidence when you see it, being clued in enough to know the difference between a passing coincidence that just confirms that you are clued in, or something of more significance, and being clued in enough to know the difference between an opportunity that is simply a passing event in the moment, or an opportunity that you should embrace and lead you towards where you want to go. Now, this clued inness isn't just about being present, it's about being present and hearing what your inner self is telling you. That's why we've been talking about gut instinct as well. This is a package deal. Once you start developing your ability to be clued in, to be present in the here and now, everything else begins to follow. In other words, you don't need to worry about what do I need to do to train myself to search for coincidence, because coincidence isn't something you search for, coincidence finds you. You don't need to train yourself to develop your ability to hear your gut instinct. It'll simply come to the surface once you start paying attention to the present moment, thereby not paying attention to the noise in your own head that otherwise drowns out your gut instinct. As I say, it's a package deal, and it is a package deal for life, for your life. I've been noticing coincidences for years, I suppose. I'm just, as I say that, thinking about the fact that next Monday, the 1st of February, I will be 25 years doing what I'm doing now, working for myself, a quarter of a century. I was 37 when I started. And a load of coincidences led me to the point of doing what I knew instinctively was something I kind of almost had to do. As I've said before, people have often said to me, God, that was a brave and courageous thing you did walking out of a highly paid job in the banking world. It wasn't. No decision was made, no bravery or courage was involved. It was something I knew deep down that I had to do, and the little signposts along the way ensured that I put my best foot forward one step at a time to get to where I knew would be best for me. And here we are. The rest is history, so to speak. Really, why am I saying all this? I am saying that it is a package deal that you can experience today by simply sitting down, closing your eyes and experiencing the moment. Or going out and going for a stroll and seeing, feeling, hearing, smelling and tasting where you are and moving another step forward into flow. We all need to take just little steps. As I said a minute ago, no bravery or courage is required. Just little steps that will inevitably lead us towards the life that is best for us if we just let ourselves. With that in mind, and with in mind the fact that it's only little steps we need to take, between now and next Monday, the anniversary, I'm going to publish really short, simple, quick tip videos that will enable you to take one of those little steps each day between now and then. And I should mention, on Monday, I'm going to open the Psychology of Success online program at a 50% off special offer price. As you'll know, I do this a couple of times a year. The last time I did it was, my God, for, for Black Friday, God help us. So I'm going to do that again on Monday as well. But the key thing is, the key message from this video is that it's only little steps we need to take to go off on the journey of a lifetime. In this case, that lifetime is yours.